When you arrive for your heart CT scan appointment at either at the hospital radiology department or the in-health diagnostics centre in the hub, you will be greeted by a friendly receptionist who will check you in. A radiographer will come and meet you and will go through some questions and safety checks. You will then be guided into the changing area where you will be given a hospital gown to change into. You will be fitted with a cannula in your arm and three ECG electrodes fitted onto the skin of your chest so that the radiographers are able to take photos of your heart arteries. A doctor will come and explain the details of the scan and to do some breath hold exercises with you. So what you need to know about this test is a very safe, simple and easy test to do. It takes around 10 minutes to complete. For the 10 minutes procedure time, we ask you to do two things for us. One of them is to relax yourself as much as you can. So ignore all these noise surrounding you, ignore the movement of the couch with you in and out of the scanner, and ignore the hot flash sensation at the time when the dye gets injected into your vein. From your scalp down to the pelvic area, hot flash travels through and dissipates in a few seconds. That's right. normal. Anybody who gets this contrast or dye injected will feel exactly the same way. Okay? Just relax around it. Apart from relaxation, we ask you also to follow breathing instructions. Okay. So with uh, intervals, we are going to ask to take a breath in. Then you take a nice and easy breath in into your chest. Not a huge breath, just between your normal and the maximum breath hold. And hold it there for until we tell you to breathe away. And that won't okay. be much longer than 10, 12 seconds of breath hold. Uh, the breath hold is very important for us because that's the time when we take the pictures of your heart arteries and if you don't hold your breath or you can't hold your breath, we can still take the pictures but it will be all blurry and some of them pictures will not be able to uh, interpret. Okay, and I said, okay. This breath hold will repeat themselves probably four or five times with a 10 minute scanning time and in between the breath holds you just breathe normally as you would do. Right. Um, GTN spray, we use GTN spray towards the end of the test to uh, visualize your heart arteries better because what it does, it widens up the heart arteries. This is a medication that is prescribed by uh, the primary care physicians for angina control. So you never experienced angina, so you don't know what it is, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, it's a very safe uh, medication to give towards the end. We come in, ask to open your mouth, raise your tongue, and we actually put one squirt of this GTN spray under your tongue. Uh, uh, in a small portion of patients, this G10 may cause slight headache because it does not only dilate up or widens up your heart arteries, but also the brain arteries, and some people are a bit yeah. sensitive to that. If that were to be the case and you were to develop headache as a result of the G10, it either passes within a few minutes, if not, then a paracetamol can help to kill off the pain. Okay. Is that okay? Yep. Yeah. After the 10 minutes scanning time, we get you on site for the next 20-30 uh, minutes just to observe any late reaction to the dye. If it's all fine, we're going to remove the cannula and uh, let you go home. The report of this scan takes around 24, 48 hours to generate and send it back to your referral team and your GP as well. Is that okay? okay. So that's the plan right. for the next 10 minutes. Before we start the procedure, I would like to do a breath hold exercise yeah. with you, okay, to see how you can cope or how well you can cope with this breath hold request. Are you comfortable at the moment? Yes. Right, okay. So just relax yourself for a moment. And if you are ready for me, then take a nice and easy breath in and hold it. And slowly breathe away. How do you feel this? How was this for Fine. you? Not too long? No. Perfect. That's a very well conducted and that's exactly what we would like you to do when we start okay. the process. Is that okay? So from our point of view, we are pretty much set and ready to go. Okay. If you are ready, yep, then fine. we can start it. Is that okay? Good. The success of the heart CT scan depends on a few factors. How relaxed you are, how well your heart rate is regulated, and how well you can follow the breathing instructions during the scan. The slower your pulse rate, and the better you can follow the breathing instructions, the better quality images can be acquired at minimal radiation. After your scan, you will be asked to stay in the waiting room for about 20 to 30 minutes to monitor you for late allergic reaction to the dye. If it is all fine, you will have your cannula removed and you will be allowed to go home. The reports usually take about two days to generate and subsequently to be sent to your referral doctor and your general practitioner.